What's good y'all, Riley Beats here, and today, today we're going to be talking about how you can make your guitar melody sound a lot more realistic. If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. And by the way, I've got a new MIDI kit out, so you can cop that, the link for that is down in the description. And let's get right into it. First things first, we need like a really just guitar melody. Doesn't have to get crazy. We're just going to lay down some chords to start, we'll go over some basic stuff. I think that's fine. Yeah, let's just go one five one five for simplicity's sake. So first things first, let's say you open up a guitar. You just have your basic chords like this. It doesn't really sound realistic because a guitar won't play the notes like this. Um, so for example, the guitar strings don't necessarily work in a way where you can have all these notes played like a triad as you would play them on a piano. So inversions become a very important thing here. So if we just invert this third of each chord up an octave, it'll already sound a lot more realistic. Now the next thing that's really important is strumming your chords. So to strum your chords in FL Studio, all you need to do is press Alt S, Beautiful menu pops up, you can play with the time, the tension, the velocity, the velocity's tension, and play with them however you like. You can play it while messing around with the knobs. And this next bit is also really important, and that's messing with the velocities. So you can just randomize the velocities by pressing Alt-R, and again, you have the velocity knob. As you can see here, the velocities are getting a little crazy. Um, I have mine set to bipolar, so they go up and down a bit more. You can mess around with other things, but these aren't really velocity related. So just kind of find where you like that velocity and you can play it as well while you're messing around with the knobs. And this will just give it more of a human touch. Now this next bit is a bit more specific to Electric Sunburst Deluxe and any other contact banks that are kind of similar. Uh, it's if you go down, I believe it's B3 in FL Studio. Yeah, so you have this note here, B3, A sharp, A3, uh, the G sharp. These will all add different kinds of effects to the guitar. So a lot of people ask me how I do the sliding sound in FL Studio. And I'll show you right now, it's just the B3. It just automates that slide up there. Now another thing you can do, is you can use the A sharp and just have it kind of do that slap effect on the guitar if that makes any sense. I don't really remember what A3 and G sharp are called, but they kind of sound like you're sliding to a different chord. And then I'll play the G sharp now. Personally, I find the G sharp sounds better when you're moving up a chord, like moving upwards with your chords. And I find that A3 sounds better when you're moving downwards. So that's just a few ways you can make your guitar melody sound a lot more realistic. Thank you for watching the video, and peace.